Hi, uh, today I'm going to review The One by Kiara Cass. Uh, there will probably be some minor spoilers, but nothing too major. Uh, so The One is the final book in the Selection Trilogy, and I finished this in about three hours. Uh, I found that it was very entertaining uh, and very, very, very fast to read. And it, it definitely has a lot more action in it than the other two. Uh, it starts out immediately, there's a rebel attack, and, you know, it's just it's like, oh, okay, we're, I guess we're going, you know, you just, it's like, first line is like, we, we were doing this when the rebels hit, I was like, oh, okay, and so, they get you in it a lot faster, and they do have some uh, calmer moments, because the selection is still going on, there's still a few girls left that Max has to choose from, and it's very much about America trying to figure out does she actually love Maxon, or does she still love Aspen? And you know, can can she live without Maxon if he doesn't choose her, or does she even want to be chosen? Because she knows all the different pol politics that are going on. The king has specifically told her to watch her step. You know, don't be inciting anything. You know, you don't know what's going on. Just don't be doing it. And the king's such a butthead about it. And so she's still wondering if she fits into this world. And they also bring in some interesting things with the uh, northern rebels versus the southern rebels. Uh, so you get a little bit more uh, background into the world and, and what's been going on. So overall, I definitely, I definitely enjoy, I definitely enjoyed this book. It, um, by having this be the, the third book in the trilogy, you can tend to be a little bit worried sometimes about the third book because if you enjoyed the first two you're hoping the third book should be you, know, you hope the third book will be good because otherwise you're not gonna read the trilogy again at least that's the case for me I found that to be with uh, the Hunger Games uh, I like the first two books and the third book just killed it for me I won't read them again because I really don't like the third book uh, but this book this book's good uh, it's a good it's a good end to the trilogy uh, and I know that she's still planning on doing some novellas. Uh, she has two out already. One for uh, Aspen and one for Maxon a little bit. Um, either before the selection or during the selection. And then she's also going to do one, I know, for the Queen. And she's probably going to do some others like that. So there's definitely still some room in here for some more explanation. Uh, so one... Uh, major common theme I think I've seen from different reviews. I've looked at some reviews of this online at Amazon and Barnes and Noble and I definitely agree with this that it was a good story and the trilogy was good but she could have done so much more with it because while they delve into a little bit of the politics and of the world and of the consequences of the casts they only just touch the surface of it she could have definitely gone more, like gone deeper into it. Uh, she could have taken this third book in a completely different direction. It probably would still would have been fine, but it would have been more revealing of of the world. And so it seems to be a missed opportunity. And I definitely agree with that. It doesn't stop me from enjoying the book. Um, you just kind of have to, you know, put it out of your mind. You're not looking for a big political thriller here. You're not looking for something like The Hunger Games that's making a statement. It's 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 more fluffy. It's it's mostly a romancy type thing for you know teenagers. But I can definitely see where it could have been done a lot more differently. So I would say that I personally enjoy it, and it's a good book for. I guess a light, a, a sort of a lighter read. Uh, it does have a little bit of more serious information in it, but it's not, it's not like, not really heavy or anything. Uh, and like I said, definitely, and especially it continues in this book, uh, probably a little bit slightly older teens, like not, um, or, or young, young, you know, slightly older young adults. Uh, I would say probably late middle school, early high school to read this. Um, unless, you know, your, your kids are reading, um, more mature material. I, I was when I was like in seventh grade. I was reading Anne Bishop, which my mom probably didn't realize what content was in there until she read them several years later. And she was like, oh, you read those when you were like 12. Hmm. 
So, but anyway, uh, these aren't these aren't these aren't that bad. No, there's there's really not um, that much suggestive material in here. Uh, there's some enough that again, probably not middle school. But also, I think a lot of people are going to be adults reading these because I love young adult books. They don't take very long to read, and they're very good. So overall, I would say that the selection trilogy is definitely one to get. Um, I'm sure they'll all be coming out in paperback soon. I don't know if they if the first two are yet or not, but definitely get them. You could probably also get them on your Nook. They're a really quick read. You could probably read the entire trilogy in a weekend or even a day maybe if you just sit there and read all day. Uh, but it's a good time. If you like The Bachelor at all or The Bachelorette, uh, you will probably enjoy this because it's very, very similar. So yeah, uh, I had a really good time with this and I hope you do too. Bye.